All right, here we are on the Ranger 2510. Just gonna do a quick walkthrough of the uh, components on the boat. Starting with the switch panel up here, top left, you got your horn, Coast Guard horn real loud. Nav lights, this is a three-way switch. So in the middle, it's off. When you push it up, that's gonna be your running lights and your anchor light. Running lights are up here. Red glare on my hand for the port side. Green light as well on the starboard side. And then your anchor light is actually up top on the T-top. There's one right there. That's in the up position. Middle is off, down is anchor light only, telling other people you're anchored. Which that's on as well. Middle is off. Bilge one, bilge two, both of these are synced to a uh, float inside the bilge. When these lights are on, on the switch themselves, that means that they're running. There's no water in the boat, so you're not gonna be able to see anything come out. Uh, next switch is a, another three-way switch. Up is going to be the blue lights that are up underneath the console, the tow rail. Which they're all around the center console. And you also have rod locker lights, which are white, on both sides. Down position does not control anything, or at least nothing that I've found so far. So middle is off. Underwater lights, I'll show you a picture of those, that those are working. Those are the blue lights that are on the transom of the boat. Vent fan, this is for inside of the uh, head area. I'm sorry, this is, the vent is for the rod locker box. Another vent fan for the head, which I'll get to that in a minute. Open accessory switch not linked to anything. Raw water washdown, RWWD. Raw water washdown is in this back compartment. Right here, I'll just crack it so you see that there's actually pressure. Fresh water wash down, which is FWWD, which is on the port side of the lean post, linked right here. Don't really have any fresh water in the boat at all, but you can hear it gargling. Forward spreader light, that's the light that's up on top of the T-top. Rear spreader light, which is on the rear of the top. Then you have overhead light, which when you turn it once, that'll turn on your white lights. Turn it off, turn it back on again, that's your red light. Turn it off, turn it back on again, that's your blue light. Purple light. White light. I'm sorry, those are all throughout the T-top. You got two right here, two right there, and then two up in the front. Um, blinker switch, port side, it's for the jack plate. That's an up and down, it's all the way down, all the way up. The starboard side blinker switch is for tilt and trim up and then down <coughs> you also have that control on the throttle which is an up and a down two temp 
put blades in the back. One remote's right there that sinks to both of them. It's just a simple down. You also have individual fobs that you'll wear around your neck for both of those as well. The trolling motor is up on the bow of the boat. Um, the remote is right here. You'll turn, when the remote is off, here let me turn it off and turn it back on. Turn it off by holding the check button down for a couple seconds, let go and it shuts itself off. To turn it on you just hit the check button and it'll come on. You hit the OK button and then you're uh, synced, you're automatically synced to the trolling motor itself. There's also a power button that they've integrated on the trolling motor itself that you want to make sure is on before you start doing all this, which it's already on. As you can see the green light, there's a power button right there. Just manually turn it on by pushing the power button and then you're good to go. And the way you operate this trolling motor is once the remote is on, you have two little thumbnail buttons right here. If you can see it in the picture, it says deploy. And you hit the deploy button twice. So that's one, two. One, two. One, two. Come on. There it goes. I wasn't pressing it hard enough. It'll deploy itself, go all the way down to the last setting, and then from there you can adjust your speed, which is at the upper left hand corner, it says 10. You got a plus and minus button right here. You see how it's dropping down? I don't know if you can see this. Or maybe you can see it in the light. You hit the propeller button, that turns it on. Speed it up. Now as you can see, we're turning. The arrows turn it left to right. See the land in the background. See how fast we're moving. Now it's basically got a mind of its own. It's going to keep you within two feet of wherever you hit that anchor button. Get out of spot lock. Just hit the anchor button again, and it's going to go back to the last setting that you had it at. hit the rabbit button twice one two and that takes you straight to speed 10 to turn the trolling motor off you hit the propeller button and that turns the propeller off to stow it there's a stow button up here you hit the stow button once it brings itself back up it stows itself so remember deploy is twice you have to hit it kind of firmly for it to respond Stow it is one time. Once it's stowed and locked in, you're good to go. You got live wells. You have one in the rear back here. Switch panel is right here next to the, uh, the battery switch. Fill number one is for the front live well, which is a straight overflow. See water pumping in there. You just put your overflow tube in, it'll fill up overflow through that. There's also a flow control right here where you can turn this and slow it down and speed it up by opening it. Sometimes this guy will get boogered up with uh, fish and scales and whatnot and it'll have a hard time keeping up so you can turn it down. So that's fill number one. Turn that off. Fill number two is going to be the rear live wall back here. Put your drain in. We'll let that fill up past that point where we can check the recirculator as well. Live wall light. That switch. You can see there's a little live wall light right there. So 
this is fill number two. This is the recirculator. This is the overflow. And this is fill number one, which you can open it up, which turns off water for the front live well. It's fill number one. And then it's filling up right there just a little bit faster. This is live well is massive. Now that our recirculator intake is submerged, which is the black deal on the bottom, you can hit the recirculator. You can see it recirculating. Turn it off. You're good to go. Uh, I believe that's every. Oh, stereo. Stereo is up here. JL Audio, Bluetooth knob. It's synced to my phone. You can control it up here from the knob or you can control it from the phone as well. Whatever is easier for you. Um, that's pretty much all the components. We'll do another video of the boat actually running. Katie Brown.